we are live and welcome to the russian and the freak show episode number 15 how to maintain your equilibrium and function in the dysfunctional world as a freak family <laughs> in business and in life so that you can transform your chaotic complexity into your own personal your normal chaotic 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 your yes. chaotic complexity into your own personal normalcy. This is how to win in business, win in family, win in life and relationships. Real world family, real world business, real world results, and real world relationships. You're kind of there. You want yes, to move over? Yes, you are not. Well, that's I'm going to fix that. We're talking here about real world situations, real world relationships. This is the, not always the shit you want to hear, but this is the shit you absolutely need to freaking here this is no bullshit just straightforward telling it like it is how it should be sometimes it might sting the things we're going to tell you but today we're just going to have some some freaking fun but you know we are always bringing the fucking fire every second of every second and of course making no excuses so let's get rolling what are we talking about let's today get rolling. what are we talking about today continuation what you started with the kids so it's kind of what? gonna well yes because in your show <clears throat> Breaking okay, you telling cycle. them or are you telling me? Uh, yes, what is it? Uh, <laughs> continuation with the kids. Do you think they know uh, what the fuck? Just hold on, hold on. Just because we're having a conversation yes. doesn't mean you can't like get Ab them up to speed. Absolutely. Continuation with the kids. What does that mean? Making That's more right. kids? <laughs> All right, continuation guys, so, with the kids. There's uh, no more continuation with any kids. I'll tell you that. Yeah, we have two, and that's it. Okay, so we're gonna actually give you an idea of playing a game with your own family, and it's based on your own name and your last name. And that's what the in the last episode of Breaking the Cycle, when Steve Steve leads with two of our kids, Tyson and Ivanka, and they were having fun with creating kind of their name. Like, what do you Speaking think of, of games? What's that? What's that early birthday gift I saw you with? I heard some buzzing going on and some weird shaking going on and you were alone like in the bathroom. What was up with that? It was a gun. What kind of gun? Massager. Huh? <laughs> it looked like it had all kinds of attachments for it. No, that was just I like heard a all kind of buzzing going on. I heard all kind of buzzing going on. I saw ba I saw packages of double of ba of D size batteries, like a bunch of them. Like a must correct. It looks there was like, like the a magazines guy. There was a oh, package with D. Watching us. Thank you guys for watching. There was by a the package way. with D batteries that were. It was empty, like twelve D batteries. How powerful is that thing? You need twelve D batteries to power your shit. It has to be powerful for the muscles that I have. Yes, correct. And by the way, you got me this toy. But anyway. <clears throat> let's have some fun so this whole thing is all about kind of creating that moment for you and your family and 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 this thinking about your your name and your last name what does your name and your last name represent but most importantly before we're gonna go into it is not just what does it represent what is it like who are you what are who, you made of what's yes. your character what's your identity like these are not just generic words and when I did this with the kids yesterday on the show or Wednesday on the Breaking the Cycle show with the kids, it's they gave what, the word, what their words were and what those meant to them. Because their definition of things might mean a little different. Like Midge in her, her V was for vacation. That's mm -hmm. part of her identity. Part of her character is thinking about vacation. And she not just vacation. She's on a permanent vacation. She's in La La Land all the time. Her hair is fluff, fluffy or flowing all over the freaking place like a wild caveman. Like Mowgli from freaking Jungle Book. But anyway... So it should mean something specific to you, to your personal traits, your character, your personality, the motherfucking stamp you want to leave on the world and the earth and every person that you're around and every room you enter and even strangers you meet in the freaking grocery store, if you go to grocery stores. Yes, because think about it, like how empowering your name is. Like say it to yourself, say your name right now and think what each le letter would represent. And not only that, guys, have fun, schedule this time on your schedule it on your schedule for for you and your family do it as a family if you have kids have every single person write their name on it and let them think and let them connect to their own character and today we're gonna kind of go over the the freak what the freak is what the freak means because freak is a part of our freak code and freak family and the way how we live our life 
Steve goes, uh, will go over his name. I will quickly go over my name and let's have fun. But if you guys want to share this with us already, or maybe you've done this in the past, just type your name and write you it down. You get ripped off. You're just is three letters. So I, you only I, get three words. I know, just, I know. So you better make the most of those with letters. And, and besides the fact, Can you I spelled, do your more? Own, spelled your own shit wrong last time. Well, W, right? Because W is the original. But anyway, if you can share it with us, write your name and write it down what this each letter represents. But don't think of someone else. Think of you. What's your character? What you made of? How is your energy? Who the How fuck is- are you? Who the fuck are you? What are you fucking made of? What are you capable of? What are you? Who, who are you? And and make it a, a it may it turn into a discussion like each word. Some words we talked about, all right, how is that, how do you consider that your word and explaining to each other in the family what, how it was each other's words? And we, we talked about the word obsessed, how Tyson absolutely needed his O to be obsessed. There's no other fucking letter that could be for Tyson other than obsessed. But he thought obsessed originally was like a negative word, a bad word. He thought it meant something bad, like evil. And I told him that any word could be thought of as good or bad. Energy could be a bad, my, one of my, my E is energy. It could be good or bad. You could have bad, negative, toxic, fucking cancerous energy. You could have infectious, enthusiastic, full of fucking positive energy. So it all depends on how you look at it in perspective. And we, we talked about it and he kept O and now he loves the word obsessed because he's an obsessed little fucking freak. But we're not going to go into their letters. You can watch episode number whatever it was i think eight of breaking the cycle where we went over the with the with the kids and they broke down their names and what it meant to them personally and specifically so let's kick this off yes and with the discussion as steve said you know what let's go even a little bit farther into it how about when each person in your family describes their 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 names and their last names if you actually gonna describe of the other person's name because your understanding of you is always different than other people see you. oh this is great we're doing this no, tonight shut, we shut. are doing this tonight we're gonna take each other's names and what we think their letters should be <laughs> oh my god do you have an n in yours for nut no. shit crazy do you have a, a a w oh you do have a w yes got it i have a good one for that Wacked. No. Oh, that's good too. But no, that's not it. A couple of Definitely. good ones. Definitely. A couple Definitely. of good ones. All right, let's roll. A? You have an A? Y- well, yes. Oh, got one for that one. That's an easy one. Oh, share. we're going to have some fun. We're going to have some fun. That's even... That's All right, even, let's have some fun. Such a great idea. No, we have to do it uh, for each other. We should almost do it live without coming up with it on the spot. But no, we're going to do, it. We're gonna do so that today, fun. this weekend as a family meeting. We're going to do it as a family... We're going to do it for each other to see what kind of shit you can come up with for each other. That is a great idea. All right. So let's because start with Freak. Yeah. But before, guys, just like, let me tell you, weekend for us, it's like about our family. I mean, Friday, we do personal development, You, me and him together. When the kids study something at the same time. But Saturday, it's all about the games, the board games. Then it's video games. But board games happen first. First. And we buy some crazy board games and we play and it's, it's challenging, it's fun, we get to know each other better, and that's what it's all about. Not just scheduling the time just to go out and do things and go to Disneyland. This is all awesome, but when you actually sit down and do the games, board games are awesome. So make sure that you're scheduling this time with you and your family and do this. Okay? But make no mistake about it, those two days of the weekend are not days off of of making money, hustling, fucking working. Doesn't mean you have to work as much as you do during the week because a lot of things maybe aren't flowing as much. Whatever, stock markets aren't open or some businesses are even some businesses are even busier on the weekends. Real estate is that's like their main showing times, right? But let's say you have regular regular business and the weekends aren't as busy. That doesn't mean you're just completely off. You should still schedule. I'll still get up early. I will I'll get up a little later than normal. I'll still get up early and have a two hour kill time on the calendar where I'm still getting shit done making sure I have everything finished off for the week that finished, everything set up for the week coming up, and then same thing on Sunday. Sunday's even more specific. That's like a week weekly reflection time, looking forward past on the previous week. Where can I make some time up? What can I delegate? What can I eliminate? What can I change going forward in the next week? What can I make better? How can I have better energy? How can I make more money? So don't think you're not working just because we're talking about doing all this weird shit on the weekends. No, you're just making time for it. You're just mining for time, making time for it no matter what. Like think about it, two hours on Saturday and two hours on Sunday, that's four hours. That, that is, co- that's, you are, that, you did that without pulling know, out your I abacus have, and your, I, no, com- and your calculator and your and little then I, Think about it. Two and then, hours and then, plus two hours 
<laughs> no, my but, friends. No, 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 no. Equals four hours. This is some deep. You come on to the Rush and the Freaks to get some deep education and math lessons. Two plus two is motherfucking four. But, this is brilliant. This is a breakthrough in modern fucking science. In a month. You're hitting that. Your microphone is on there. Yes, in a month, they have to wake up. In the month, that's a lot of hours, guys. And that's sometimes they say, people say, I don't have time, but designation, like even little things, will change your life. So think about it. One hour can turn into a few hours in a month. All right, let's roll. Start. Are you sure? That was a hell of a fucking introduction. It's time. We got, we got to go pick the kids up from fucking school. Show is over. We didn't even get to the F and freak. We oh, no, get to no, no. Let's start. Freak, freak. How do you spell freak? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> How do you spell uh? How do you spell uh? Make sure you know how to Anyway, say. two plus two is motherfucking five on, on the Rush and the Freak Show. Polish mathematics right in the house here. All right, Freak. F-R-E-A-K. The f-, f in Freak. It can stand for a few things. It could stand for fuck it. It could stand for freedom. So really we say fuck it freedom or just freedom. Really freedom to be yourself. Freedom to not give a fuck is really what the F is about in Freak. Freedom to not give a fuck. The, uh, having a not give a fuck muscle, that's the strongest muscle in your body. Not going to fuck what other people think about you. Not going to fuck with the world, your parents or teachers or whoever from my, cur- current times or from your past thinks you should be or need to be or you need to go get a, a college education with and have two kids and a white picket fence and two and a half fucking dogs and all this other bullshit is, is conforming to society and the bullshit. Be your freak fucking self and it all starts with freedom. Personal freedom. Freedom of your calendar, freedom of your time, freedom of your agenda, freedom of your own fucking thinking. Like, if you want to stick a needle in your ass with some toxic shit, go right ahead. You are free to fucking do that. But if you don't want to stick a needle with some toxic shit in your fucking ass, don't do it. Amazing. <laughs> and you have the freedom to fucking choose that. And you should have the freedom to choose stuff like that. And no one should be able to tell you. So the, the freak, everything starts off with freedom. Everything is about personal freedom when it comes down to it. That is what <laughs> creates Productivity creates efficiency, creates fun, creates fucking no anxiety, no stress, creates better health. Is having personal fucking freedom is the number one thing anyone wants in this world. So the F in freak is freedom. Especially nowadays. Awesome. Now, R. What the fuck are you looking at me for? I, I can see you in the camera. I can see this camera. Look at me in the corner. You're fucking out. <laughs> creepy. Like fucking creeping out. Like, guys. Did you, you don't know what comes next in freak? Oh, no. No, you spelled it for me. So R is role model. And it's all about being the role model for our kids, for people out there in society, being the robot, role model. Like, so, it's... <laughs> what does R say for? <laughs> Ro- robot. Model. Robot. Model. You're no, a fucking, R. you're no. a Russian robot. No. R. R does not stand for robot. But it's hard. The R is always hard for me. So, role model and robot? Oh, come on. Yes, R. How are those even? Always R. R. No, absolutely not. R R for robot. Be a fucking (laughs) robot. Be a Nazi fucking robot, marching soldier, just taking some crazy ass orders. Be a robot. Be a robot, take a needle. Be a robot, put some fucking nasty diaper on your fucking ass and right onto your face. And then don't change it and wear it all day and sneeze and hock a in it and put it right back on. That's good. That's good. Healthy robot bullshit. No robots. Robots not a fucking loud. Yes. So, like, Steve wants to be obviously the the model and um, to to to. Now I want to be the model. I'm gonna be the runway model. I'm gonna be a fashion model. I can't even get my word out. I'm gonna be a fashion model. Should I just? I'm gonna walk down the fucking runway and strut in in some men's fucking fashion. I could do that. I can. I can figure that off, right? Speak right right here. Can you get the? Can you get your shit together here? Can you get your shit together? This is this is fucking no, outrageous. No, it's all about. We're influence. on the R of freak. We still have to do both our names and the last name. It's about influence and persuasion, right? Being the role model. Now E for enthusiasm, as you see. You just did so, R. What the fuck? I'm going forward. Okay, it was obvious. I did the R. Then you did the creepy look in the corner of your eye, like, uh, should I do the R? I mean, I did the F, and yeah, so that you would mean the, the E would be back to me, right? Yeah, go ahead. Holy fucking shit. Can we get this shit going or something? Enthusiasm. You see how You need to get your shit together. Enthusiastic as hell. Don't steal my shit. E no. is for enthusiasm. E is for enthusiasm. Really to, to be enthusiastic, be infectious, to, to create your own energy, bring your own energy, 
bring enthusiasm into every situation, no matter what it is, no matter if it's a positive situation or a negative situation, you're making it fucking positive. You are bringing enthusiasm. You're going to figure out the bright side of everything. Like when you're on the battlefield and your buddy got his fucking legs blown off, you're going to sit there and go and console him by saying something like, hey, at least your pull-up is going to be easier because you don't have to lift up as much weight on the pull-up bar. Something like that. Say something like That's what we're that. talking about with enthusiasm. Like, well, not well, sort of. But it, enthusiasm is, is, who put that in there? The eagerness? Eagerness? How the huh? fuck did I get in there? In, <laughs> that ain't my word. <laughs> that, that, that was probably mine. <laughs> eagerness? Motherfucker, don't I look like eagerness to you? That just sounds like not but even a, freak a word. But is, is our word, so. Enthusiasm is just bringing fucking fire and passion and energy into everything you're doing. Like if you're going out to go get the mail, go out and get it like an enthusiastic motherfucker. What's and next? And you got this. And you got And it's A for for attitude. Attitude. What kind of attitude do you have? The best puzzle, possible positive attitude. Being courageous. Being obsessed. Being ready to fight. Every second of every second. That's pretty much what it is. Like attack the day. Attack the, attack the hour. Attack the, the second. Push through. And that's the attitude. Because guys, attitude will... If you have a negative attitude to everything, you will see how hard your life it is. So change your attitude today. If you think that you have all these negative thoughts and why the world out of nowhere, like you think everything is not falling into the right place, it's your attitude. So start with your attitude, change it, be positive. Be highlight of someone's day. And that's how it works. Like if you help someone, your day will be better. Say attitude one more time. Attitude. 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 <laughs> Can you imagine how this household is being? Let's run think of attitude as as a attitude of positivity, attitude of generosity, attitude of curiosity, and an attitude of motherfucking confidence. The attitude is also literally the attitude, the way you carry yourself, walking into a room with attitude, with command, with fucking presence, with your head up, your chest out, your shoulders back and down, like a marine badass motherfucker. Like that's attitude. Not backing down. That is attitude. Not being afraid. Ready to attack the motherfucking day. Ready to attack the task. Ready to have a, an attitude of gratitude. Being grateful. That's another part of the attitude. Think of all that combined together when you have your attitude. You didn't hear anything about bitching and moaning and whining and all this other bullshit and, and making excuses and thinking about problems and gossiping and all this shit. That's all. Those are also attitudes. They're also bitch ass motherfucker attitudes. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about these types of positive attitudes. Next is K. K is for kill. Now, you might think, oh, that's just so violent. Oh, my God. Well, if you think that, then that's just too fucking bad. Then just don't watch this. I don't really care. I don't care. If, no, we do this for us. We do this right here for us and for anyone else who can relate to this and is not going to be one of those little hating little bitch ass motherfuckers. Yes, so, we do to the people that relate. And obviously, it's okay if somebody's not agreeing with this. It's totally fine. Right? So, yes, the word it's kill. The, the kill is, oh, my God, it's aggressive. It's vulgar. It's, 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 it's whatever. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You know what? <laughs> You know how I, people are just fucking bitches. I don't even know what the word talking about anymore, but people are just bitches. People are just soft little fucking pussies in the world. But it's really just fake because if, if, because everyone wants everything to be like, everyone's censoring everything now. You can't see these bad words. Like comedians make jokes on talking shit about everyone and it's nothing personal. It's like funny, but now it's everything's become personal that comedians talk about. But people are such fucking bullshit, fake, fake, Fucking motherfuckers. Because how is this show on Netflix? This, what's it called? What's this fucking show called? This, this the last one that we're watching? Squad Game? Uh, no. Squid Game, not Squid Squad game. game. Squid Game. Squad Game. It's just like Squid Game, but it's squads. Squid Game. There's a lot how of is that the that number that. one series on Netflix ever? The most profitable series, the most money-making series on Netflix ever fucking ever By and it's way, a sick twisted yes. show it's Have sick like guys... shit that i think of in my head or they're actually doing on a show i mean someone actually did it and they got actors to act this out but then people get offended by oh my god the word kill or you're making this joke exactly. about this person or you said this offensive word or you called him a he but he resonates with a she yeah, and you should be sense. canceled from the earth and you should be hung like shut the fuck up it, it just shows what the way people really think really you're fucking animals we're all savages we're all fucking animals we're, we're so we stop are. hiding stop so, hiding today 
Hey, show your true self. Because guys, this show is so twisted. Who have been watching this show? And 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 at first when I saw it, I'm like, this is twisted thing. But we got into it and we start watching. But it shows the true self that somebody came up with an idea. And then look how many of us are watching it. So stop hiding behind the bush, be your true self. And if you fucked up and you are sick in the head, just show who you are. Unleash the freak. Unleash the freak. It's freak code, it's, freak it's mode. It's, Time to unleash the freak. You, you. And more you you become, more empowering you are, guys. So That's in addition to line. kill, in addition to kill, we didn't even get it to because we're too busy trying to uh, appease the fucking bitches out there watching it to make you not feel your little butt cheeks get hurt or whatever but anyway uh, kill stands for killing the day kill attack the day kill the the fear procrastination kill the negative thoughts in your head kill that fucking inner bitch in your head that wants to go and oh my god did you say this about me and this kind of people holy crap like shut the fuck up kill that little inner bitch Kill that softness, that weakness, that fucking patheticness, that passive aggressiveness, that fucking approval seeking little bitch ass motherfucker inside of you. Kill it. Kill those internal thoughts. Kill those self limiting beliefs. Kill every task in front of you. Kill your calendar. Kill your day. Kill your agenda. Kill the fucking problems that you have. Kill it in all fucking areas of life. And when it call, when called upon, sometimes you may have to kill a motherfucker. Yes. And, and you know, kill meaning like a lot of times you guys want something but you stuck in the same over and all the same attitude the same way the, the same attitude, ways attitude, how you do same things attitude. and then and then you cannot get out of it because you never take the time to really look how your day went what did you do this day did you fucked up all these things did you take the opportunities or you just go with with a flow of the day and other people's agenda. And that's a lot of times to happen to people. All right, also, you're losing us. You're losing us. Move on. Your name. What's your name? Eva. E-W-A. And you know why I actually switched that? Hold on. How, how we had it EVA. Are you making it E no, or no, 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 no. V? Are you going to do both w. versions? No, the, no I want to do both versions. But let me tell you. I recently... I'm, been, I, I, hold I'm on, peeking at say. your notes there. Let me switch something. It looks like I'm looking up your skirt, but I'm peeking at your notes. And it... What is that what, W for? Welcoming? Welcoming walked. People. Interesting. No, there's a lot of different things, but I, I've had it V, and then I realized I accustomed the V for people to say my name Eva, is because otherwise people call it Iwa. That's how it's the spelling is. It's E W A, but it's Eva. So I went back and it's all Eva. And if somebody said it wrong, I will correct them because that's what the spelling is. But in all fairness, I've seen some uh, Polish writing, and there could be something that if you read it out, like the letters that are on there, it'd be like W Y Z K R L K O or something like that. And I'll say Wyrilico. I'll be like, what does that mean? And you'll say, oh. That's cloud. <laughs> hmm? Got it. Got it. Like bamboo. BMW. <laughs> bamboo? And you, that's what we said. Bamboo is BMW? Ba yes, bamboo. Bamboo? Ba ba bamboo? Ba like no. the, the thing the no, Japanese no. people drove in the jing that goes in 30 feet? Bamboo. It's BMW. That's the car. Bamboo. BMW. No. But you wouldn't say BMW in You would Polish say BMW, well. but why not? It's BMW. It's not but, BMW. But how you can say a W when you don't say a W in our Because in our that's alphabet. what it is. That's the name of it. It's BMW, not whatever you want to interpret W as. What if you interpreted W as uh, motherfucker? I don't know, but that's... But you would you say, say BM motherfucker? Based on our language. You can't just make up your own names for shit just because no, that's what you... you guys that's why you deserve for people. That's why you deserve that people call you Uwa or it's Eva. Because you think that you <laughs> just can change. Deserve. You I'm think you fight the day on this show. <laughs> you think you can say how someone's name else's name should be because of your language says it that way. N I no, guess if you have an accent like BMW or something, you say it weird or something. But you can't bamboo. It's a but, fucking BMW. It, because, they, but no, I understand. It's our it's our language. It's our spelling of the letters. So that's what it is. It's just translation. All right, let's get okay, to your anyway. letters here. Eva. Holy fuck. I'm confused. I'm confused. I thought about a few things. E for exercise, but also extravagant. Mm -hmm. 
I think oh, that's what I was talking. But I'm sure he's gonna choose different Extravagant. names. Extravagant. I can't wait for us to do the drill where we I had each other's walked, names. But then I thought, you know what? I'm also welcoming. I think I have two different personalities in me. Definitely. That's all. No. I how many do you think? More? You better hold up a few more fingers than that. You need to use fingers. You need to use fingers and toes for that shit. We're gonna do go V for vibe. Not toes though. Don't show those yeah. toes. Don't show those fucking toes. You know what? Your your toe is worse than mine after being squished for six okay. weeks. Okay. Mine is just broken and deformed, like from being crushed from it, a fifty pound dumbbell. At least looks dumbbell. like mine right now. We matching. Okay, but mine happened from an actual like crushing event. You guys see, Yours, see my toes? No, no. <laughs> We'll lose the three followers that are watching this right now. We'll end up being none. I won't even. You, you can't unsee it. You can't unsee it. You cannot unsee what you saw. That's very Anyway, funny. can we get hey, to your hey, freaking hey, letters? Amazing. Yes, I feel amazing. Amazing. Awesome. Because we have awesome in our words for the freak. And that's it because it's three letters. So it's not a lot. Go with your Wow, what a, rip, what a rip off that was. So I, I put the N in and I say it in... Steven, I did yesterday with the kids. I just ran through it is, but didn't really break them down why they were the what, what they were chosen. And I put the N in, even though the only ones that call me Steven are my mama and my bitches. So I still had to put it in there because it's. <laughs> you have one. <laughs> one one. Bitch. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches, can you imagine the show is just walk? This show is a freak show. That's what it is. I hope so what does it stand for? The S stands for strength. The T is for toughness. The E is energy. The V is violent. The second, violent. The second E is endurance. And the N stands for no excuses. But in the alternate reality, it stands for motherfucking nuclear. He's is what it stands violent. for. This man so is strength, violent. Strength doesn't just mean physical strength. Strength means mental strength, emotional strength. Same thing for toughness. Strength and toughness go together. Strength is actual strength. Toughness is, is is durability, which also is like endurance. It all flows together. That's why I feel like it molds together. And then the energy attaches to the enthusiasm that we put in for in the freak. The energy, just having energy in everything you're doing, like being the fucking energy. If I have the discipline to have energy in all situations, I have nothing to worry about. I know if I have my discipline and my energy, nothing can drag me down. Nothing can fucking stop me. And that's keep with, with the strength, the toughness, mental toughness. Emotional strength is really when I'm talking about strength. Of course, physical strength, but emotional strength. The toughness, not just physical toughness, but mental toughness. So that's emotional strength, mental toughness, and then energy. Not just energy like from external energy, having to get motivated from outside sources, but able to generate your own fucking energy. Not always relying on someone else to motivate you or, or give you energy and someone to lift you up all the time. Have it in your fucking self so be able to, at a moment's so notice, important. just snap a motherfucking finger. Huh? So important. Good that you say this. You interrupt me to say so important? Yes, because it's really... So important. But it really is, right, people? Right? Yes, the energy that you generate. Keep on going. It's like when you're telling <laughs> people... I know you're not come up. You're on like some Herbalife video and you're telling people you drink your shakes and take your vitamins and then... You have to drink water. Drinking water is very important. No, because, but, very but, important. No, but well, no about, shit. Yes, but but let's 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 stop for this a second because nowadays it's people look for external motivation constantly. If they don't get it, they feel down. The moment that they wake up in the morning, they already feel unmotivated. I mean, we have to like do something about it, guys. You are a walking energy, literally. That's what it is. It's just energy All right, trapped in the body. We're here to talk. I have a discussion yes. about this, not just preaching and no, telling no, no, your, no, your yes. E. I know what your E is going to be. I got your E. I can't wait to play this oh, game. Oh, gosh. Yeah. All right. Can't wait for energy. the E. V for violence. V is for violence. He's, he's going to do something. Crazy. Motherfucking I, violence. I see it in his Like eyes. violence for, for <laughs> flipping motherfucking switches. That's what it is. Violently flipping switches. Like, no, but viol listen, violently attacking your day. Violently approaching every task you have, like with violence, like violence of action, speed of violence. Like that's what we're talking about. Not just careless, unethical, immoral violence. We're not talking about that. That's just fucking stupid. Obviously, that's not what we're talking about, but it's such a powerful word. I love the word violence because it does get your attention. It's like, whoa, what the fuck? But it is violence. Like marketing, your marketing should be motherfucking violent. It should be out there. It should be aggressive. It should be in your face. Your your live videos here, your shows, your podcast should be fucking violent. 
according, of course, according to your character and your personality and, and whatever your goals are, what you're looking for, but violently attack everything you fucking do in the day, in life. That's why the V is in there with violence. And then endurance is just to be able to go and go and go and go. Whether there's sleep, whether there's rest, whether there's recovery, whether there's fucking broken bones, whether there's whatever. Sand in your ass crack. It doesn't matter. Motherfucking endurance to keep going. But not just like the other ones, like everything else, not just physical endurance, mental and emotional endurance. So the strength, I think, is more strength and emotional strength than the toughness was physical and mental. But endurance, I think, has to be physical, mental, and emotional. If you're lacking any of those, you're going to crumble. You're going to be weak. You're going to be overwhelmed. You're going to be pathetic. And you're going to be fucking useless. Having endurance is priceless when you can just learn to go and go. And it has to be combined with all the other stuff. You need that discipline. You need that energy. You need that strength. You need that toughness. You need that violence of fucking action. That's what's going to create that endurance and make you just keep going. You also need a strong enough of a higher calling, a strong enough of a reason why the fuck you're doing what you're doing. And then it makes endurance easy. You never get tired. Like we have the project coming up on Tuesday. I'll be going straight forward, full of fucking energy, violently, for 75 fucking hours Watch straight. Guys. Watch violently. guys. Violently. Non-stop. Violently. This and then the end, of course, is no excuses. And that explains it itself right there on the forum. You see it is, is no excuses. Never make any and never accept any. Just 100% accountability, responsibility for your actions, for everyone's actions around you, for people above you, people below you, people, your peers. No matter what, anyone that you have any contact with, any drop bit of influence on or connection with or team work with that they fuck up. It's on you. It's on your ass. There should be a race to the front to who's going to take blame when shit goes wrong. And then there should be a race to shove other people in front of you to give credit for when shit goes right. Don't be that fucking approval seeker again. No excuses. And the alternate word to that is nuclear. Just being putting, combining all those jumbling. Think about taking the strength, the toughness, the energy, the endurance, and the fucking violence and the no excuses and molding it all together. It's a nuclear fucking explosion of fulfillment, of happiness, of success, of fucking money, of being a role model, just fucking nuclear explosion of motherfucking awesome. That's what the N stands for when we're talking about nuclear. So guys, share, share your names, share your names, write it down what you come up with today because this should be like a fun thing for you, like really thinking deep about what the letters are for. You know, so just write it down, share it with us or share it later, whatever. Maybe you want to do it over the weekend. So we have, again, we have one more thing to cover. It's the last name of, right? Because you, you didn't do right it on there. the show. Right there, Eckert. So Eckert. Eckert, we'll just go through them real quick. What's E? Okay, E stands for enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. And this the C is for crazy. Crazy, just crazy motherfuckers. The K is kill. What's the E? Excellent. <laughs> excellent R is for resilient he is not for excellent well uh, excellent excited I'm sorry excited so <laughs> excellent there's excited. a difference between excellent yes. and excited oh we're excited. not talking about you anymore not excellent and extravagant <laughs> and amazing and outstanding <laughs> no yeah. No. Excellent. E excellent excited no excited, excited yes. not excited. excited excited because has to do with the enthusiasm too like uh, it's exciting right we 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 coming with that energy the awesome and in, infectious energy and we may change some of these all these things are totally organic they, they can change they're moldable they're changeable like you might re reflect on some stuff and change it we might change one of those because as we're thinking about it excited and enthusiastic is kind of the same they could be together. So we might change one of those E's. This was a first run through that we did it. We'll yeah. roll back through it again and probably come up with, oh, I have a better idea. And we'll be get excited about a fucking letter to put in our last name. Think about it. That's called enthusiasm. That's called having a, a, a family gel and a family bond. That if someone thinks of a better word for a letter to put into a fucking thing in this stupid ass game that we're doing <laughs> and you're excited about it. Oh, I got this thing. And you're, and you're excited to tell the rest of the fucking family about it. That's some enthusiastic shit. That's an Eckert. That's who we are. Who the fuck are you? All right. R. What's R? Resilient. Definitely, that toughness, that re resiliency is in our bones. I mean, definitely. So my own personal breakdown of resilience. So there's emotional discipline and emotional resiliency. Emotional discipline to me is to be able to stay in the middle. We call it staying in the green, not getting too high, not getting too low, staying in the middle, maintaining your bearing, maintaining that military discipline, that military bearing. That is emotional discipline. 
emotional resilience. So I think discipline and resilience are, are a little bit different, especially when we're talking about emotional. Emotional resilience is when you do get to that high, too high or too low, you go into the blue or the red, if you know what I'm talking about, and you get beyond the green. When you get outside of those zones on those peaks and valleys too high, a resiliency is what makes you bounce back and is able to pull you back to center when you do get knocked off track. Because you're going to get knocked off track. You're not going to stay perfectly emotionally disciplined the entire time. You're going to have your fucking moments of of getting complacent. You're going to have your moments of snapping and getting pissed off and wanting to fucking choke a motherfucker where it's out of your control. Both of those are out of your complete control. Resiliency is the bounce back ability to get back to center. So there is a big difference between emotional discipline and emotional resiliency. And I've spent a lot of time thinking about that because you want to get the same on the same page. I've, I've talked other times with other instructors like in the project and we've had different ways of wording stuff and I really broke it down to how I think it all fits together. So that's the difference. Resiliency is when you do get fucked up and you're going to get fucked up is being able to bounce back. You're going to get kicked in the fucking teeth. You're going to get mud kicked in your face. You're going to fucking lose. You're going to get failed. You're going to fucking get people bullshitting and, and, and gossiping and stabbing you in the back and fucking you over and you're going to lose shit. You're going to lose money. You're going to fucking fail businesses. Shit's going to get fucked up. Resilience is that bounce back ability to get back to the center to maintain, get back to where you can maintain that discipline when you lost it. And T is for tactical. Tactical. Can you explain? No, if you wanted to say what it is, now you're going to explain. Since you wanted to steal the shit, go ahead. No, I don't. It means it. Tactical means you're excellent and exuberant and (laughs) extravagantical. Tactical is having a plan, having a strategy, having a structure in everything, in everything. So it's all controlled and it's a good type of control where the schedule, the timing, the, the, the stuff that we're doing, the events we're doing, it's all tactical. When we're doing what we're doing, what parts of the day we're doing stuff, when are we planning stuff, what day of the week are we planning to travel, what day of the week are we doing stuff with the kids, depending on like everything is strategic and tactical. It's like in all areas of life, in the fitness, in the in the eating and nutrition, and what time are we having our shakes compared to when we're going to sleep? Like tactical and every fucking bit of it. Attention to detail. ATD. Attention to detail. Because life is a fucking war. Life is a battle. You need to be tactical. You need to have a strategy. And that's how you win the fucking war. By outmaneuvering with maneuver warfare, outmaneuvering the enemy. And we are Eckerts and we are motherfucking tactical. Yes. Yes, so that was very important. No, that was very important. (laughs) Yes. Now, are you gonna join us? Are you gonna do yours? Please let us know. And then before we're gonna end the show, we we wanted to invite you guys for an upcoming webinar for mind, body, and business. It's going to happen on November eleventh at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We would like to invite you all. It's a free webinar, but the registration is required for you to get the link for this webinar. And the reason, you know, based on like we've been doing our shows and 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 we we've done uh, um, we, we've been we've been doing fitness and coaching for many many years. And especially now with everything that's going on, people need to hear this. You need to hear this. That's why we created this webinar to snap you out to get you back on track so you can have someone to direct you and coach you and guide you through it. So with this webinar, you will be able to actually ask questions live with us during this show. Because here, look, we we, we doing this, we talking, sometimes you guys ask questions, sometimes you will say something, you, you, will, you will listen to us, maybe you're doing something, you get distracted. This webinar, it's all about attention, intention, direction focus staying with us taking notes but also thinking okay this is how i can implement this and you will be able to take a part and ask us question directly based on your life how awesome is this so this is how to operate to dominate in your mind your body and your business so we're going to apply all we're going to approach and attack all three of those areas at a complete different perspective than you might be used to we're going to talk about all three of those areas your mind your body and your business in a way of how to have discipline in all three of those areas, how to have energy in all three of those areas, how to have confidence in all three of those areas, how to be an action-taking motherfucker in all three of those areas, and how to be your freak self with personal freedom in all three of those areas. And then we're gonna break down, put it all together and actually break down, helping you to actually create your your own specific routines and rituals throughout the day 
that are going to combine all those strategies and tactics together. It's going to be fucking awesome. It's going to be 90 minutes at least, and we're going to have additional Q&A, so we'll be on there for as long as we need to to answer all the questions. It's about how to achieve peak performance, how to have uh, work towards your peak potential, and how to create your peak physique. If you think mind, body, business, mind, peak performance, uh, the, the body is your peak physique, and in the business is the, the peak potential, however you want to word that around there. But that's what it's all about, how to operate to dominate in your mind, body, and business. We'll put a link down there in the description of this video and down in the comments below, or you can just probably message us for the access so you can register for this. This is what day? November 11th at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will be, we will be adding a link to this video because we are on different social media. So you guys see us right now on Facebook, on Instagram, on our feed, you will see this video. There will be direct link for you to join. So please follow the instructions, submit your email, and you will be able to get the you link. Have a brother? Now, you also, have a brother? I don't need a brother. Someone said hello, sister, on your Instagram. That's weird. I may hit a brother. No. So, so make sure that you are following following the instructions and also share this video, share it, tag someone in the post because it's free webinar. Think of someone today, think of a, just one person that you can tag someone today and share this video so they can register. Copy and even send it to someone with a message, whatever it is, bring people on board because people need to hear it. And both of us will be there with you. So we, we you can ask us questions directly uh, during this webinar. All right, let's wrap this up. So first you should do this, dr this, this drill and this uh, activity with your family, then do the reverse of it where you're actually doing it for each other's names, have discussions about it, have some fun with it really about your identity, your character. And then we will see you on the webinar, November 11th. It's going to be fucking awesome. It's going to be live, interactive. You could get your questions answered completely free. Like the, we're going to be going, we're going to be covering some things that clients pay over a thousand dollars per hour to learn and to go over and to have access to. And we're going to do that absolutely free on November 11th. So you do not want to miss it. We will see you then. This has been episode number 15 of The Russian and the Freak. We will see you next time. You are fucking awesome. No excuses. Finish them off. No excuses. And guys, as Steve mentioned, the project is next week on Tuesday. goes all the way till Friday. So please check MDK site. And for and he also his, uh, his Instagram page for the stories that they will be submitted. Men especially because men are joining this project. No excuses.